evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Mike Stark, and on today's video, I'll be going through my entire Criterion Collection collection. So, get your popcorn, drinks, sit back and enjoy. Starting off with the first title, the uh, film by Peter Brook, and that is Lord of the Flies. Now, this is the original from 1963. In my opinion, I like the remake just a bit better. This is all in black and white. Great, great movie this one. This uh, is number 43 when it comes to releases uh, in the Criterion Collection uh, releases. But yeah, great, great movie about a bunch of kids on this island and then they turn into savages. Now, the next one is 201 and this is a film by Vittorio De Sica and that is Umberto D. Now, I still haven't seen this movie. Looks great. This is the Blu-ray. That was also the Blu-ray as well. This came out in 52, 88 minutes, black and white. Uh, looks like a great movie. I don't know much about it, but the cover really captured my eye. The next title is none other than the awesome, the one of a kind, David Cronenberg, Naked Lunch. Now, this is number 220. This is a great movie. Came out in 91. Uh, just a great film about this exterminator. It deals with drugs. It's an ultra weird art house kind of movie. If you haven't seen it, it's definitely one of a kind to pick up. And um, definitely the 4K surpasses the Blu-ray. But this Blu-ray here still looks stunning. Anyways, the next title is number 493 and that is Gamora. Now... I picked this up recently with a few of these other titles and I did a video on my channel of my most recent Criterion pickup so it's on my channel if you want to see this one and a few of the other ones in this video uh, where I go in depth and I talk about these releases but Gamora, this is an Italian Mafia film in Italy this came out in 2008 uh, number 493 great movie by the looks of it uh, haven't seen it as well now the next one I got this uh, as a birthday present from my brother and uh, that is the John Cassavetes Five Films. Now, if you don't know who John Cassavetes is, he was the pioneer of pretty, uh, pretty much a bear kind of filmmaking style where he made his movies with limited music, limited effects, just very straightforward and raw. Really, really great filmmaker. Rest in peace. Uh, yeah, John Cassavetes, he made um, all the movies in his box set. He did Shadows, Faces. The Killing of a Chinese Bookie, A Woman Under the Influence, and Opening Night. That all comes in this set but here. Yeah, can't go wrong. John Cassavetes, great, great set, that one. For anyone who wishes to get into film, that is a good set right there. Me, myself, I studied film. I learned about John Cassavetes in film school. Predominantly, The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. That's my favorite film of his. Definitely a standout film that he did. Very bare, but a great, great, powerful movie, that one. Anyways, the next one on the list is The Night of the Hunter. Still haven't seen this one, and I know the 4K is out and I really want to get it, uh, just because it looks like such a phenomenal movie, but I've got to sit down and watch it one of these days. And this is number 541 in the collection here. Uh, yeah, stars Robert Mitchum, uh, and from what I've heard, he does a really, really great performance in this. A lot of people within the film community talk about his performance in this as being one of the greatest villains of all time, but... Night of the Hunter, this is a 95 minute movie, 1955, black and white, uh, yeah, great, great addition to have this one, and this is the Blu-ray, but also, quick note, if you don't know what the Criterion Collection is, well, the Criterion Collection is, Google it, anyways, the next one is the out of print horror classic by Roman Polanski, and that is Rosemary's Baby. This is the 630th release uh, in the Criterion Collection. This came out in 68. Great, great horror film about this couple that move into this new apartment in New York and the wife becomes pregnant and discovers all these weird things uh, about her neighbors upstairs, about her husband. And John Cassavetes, who uh, directed all those movies, he's also an actor and he's in this movie. Yeah, but great, great movie that one. Anyways, the next one is an unusual film, and I've only seen it once, and that is Repo Man on Blu-ray, starring Emilio Estevez. Really, really weird film. Good film, though. Really good, but 
I don't know how many times you can actually watch this movie. I mean, for me anyways, but yeah, this is a uh, 1984, 92 minutes, color, uh, aspect ratio 1.78.1, a uh, great, great edition here to have. Uh, but I will say the Criterion releases, they're super expensive. Uh, you are paying a premium, but having said that, you pay for what you get. These releases, the, they, they, they give you the best that they can give you, that anyone can give you. They go out of their way. They jump leaps and bounds with their releases. Their quality is outstanding for Blu-rays, 4Ks, period. Anyways, the next title is one that I haven't seen, but the movie Rat Race is based off this movie, and this is the 1963 movie. It's a mad, 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 mad world. And this is number 692. Great, great uh, movie by the looks of it. Uh, Stanley Kramer presents, it's a mad world. This is the Blu-ray, 163 minutes. This is the movie itself. On Blu-ray, can't go wrong there. Next one is a totally underrated movie. Great, great Mel, uh, who did this? Albert Brooks, Albert Brooks, I'm thinking of Mel Brooks for some reason. Yeah, Albert Brooks stars in this, but he also wrote this, and he also directed this, and this is the, the comedy movie Lost in America. This came out in 1985, and this is number 887 in the Criterion Collection. Funny movie about this couple that are on the road, uh, forget where they're traveling, and yeah, they lose all their money, they become stranded, and it's just like a funny, just whatever can go wrong, will go wrong sort of movie. Kind of like a, a National Lampoon's Vacation, but uh, kind of an, an ultra, just, uh, just weird version of it. Anyways, next one is the science fiction horror film by David Cronenberg, and that is Scanners. Now, I have yet to see this one. I do own Videodrome, which is the sequel to this one, apparently. But yeah, Scanners looks like a great movie, stars Michael Ironside. Uh, I just know the uh, head exploding scene. Um, but yeah, having said that, uh, moving on. Um, okay, uh, down to the probably the most weirdest film I've ever seen, and this is a David Lynch movie. This is what made David Lynch a successful director, writer, overall filmmaker, and that is Eraserhead. This is the weirdest movie I have ever ever, ever seen. Now, all in black and white, minimal music, uh, minimal cast, I will say, very low budget, but just engaging and super weird, and just a great movie about this guy that has to babysit this, like, like mutant baby thing, and, like, it's just weird, and the special effects, it's all done through practical effects, uh, it's just a film that when you watch it, you'll th be thinking about it and thinking about it because it's definitely one of a kind film that you would never have seen. Um, yeah, this is the Blu-ray. Uh, this is number 725, and this came out in 1977. Okay, I think that... No, one more from Pile 1. I've got this separated in two piles here. And this one uh, was actually uh, one of my first... One of my first uh, Criterion Collection purchases, and that is Ghost World. This is a really just feel-good movie starring Thora Birch, and an early, early film for Scarlett Johansson. She's really young in this movie. Uh, it's just, a, it's just a feel-good movie about these girls that play a trick on this older guy who's lonely, and then it kind of backfires, and they feel lonely for him. Uh, so they feel sad for him. Um, yeah. Now onto pile number two. So I gotta pull this here. Now, the next one is the legendary George A. Romero film, Night of the Living Dead. The, one of the best zombie films I've ever seen in my life. Great, great zombie film. This came out um, in 1968. This is the Blu-ray. Uh, is this the 4K? Yeah, 4K uh, digital restoration, supervised by George A. Romero himself. Um, but yeah, great, great movie. And I know there is a native 4K version out of this movie. But uh, to be honest, um, I don't know if I'll pick it up. We'll see. Maybe somewhere, somewhere down the line I'll do it. But anyways, next title is 
Female trouble. Now, why do I have two copies? It's a long, long, long story. But yeah, this is probably my favorite John Waters film. Actually, no, that's a lie. My favorite one is Pink Flamingos. But yeah, this Female Trouble is a great movie, this one. John Waters film starring Divine, rest in peace, the drag queen. Um, great, great movie. Uh, really ultra weird. This came out in 74. This is 929 in the releases of the, the Criterion releases. But yeah, great, great movie about... I'm not even going to get into explaining that one, but... Check it out. That, 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 that is just a crazy movie right there. Anyways, the next one is a foreign film, and this is a film by Michael Haneke, and that is Funny Games, this one. This one, Funny Games, they remade it uh, in America, but this is the better version, apparently. I haven't seen them, any of them, the remake or the original. But yeah, this came out in 97, and this is 975. Uh, this is the Blu-ray, and this is a movie about a home invasion, I think. Something like that. Uh, but check it out, it's supposed to be really good. Uh, anyways, the next one is another John Waters film, and that is Polyester. Very funny movie, this one. Um, and this came out in 81. And this is number 995. And this even comes... Comes with a poster, and one of those scratch and smell... Uh, things that is for this movie. If you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, great, great movie this one. John Waters is a legend and uh, definitely uh, a great movie to check out about a dysfunctional family in America, but it's it's definitely an R-rated dysfunctional family in America film. Very sick. You know what John Waters movies are if you've seen a couple of his, one, one of his movies. They're all like that, but yeah. Anyways, the next one is uh, the first 4K in this video, and this is the uh, Safdie Brothers film starring Adam Sandler, and that is Uncut Gems. Now, I really love this movie. This came out in 2019, uh, and this is number one, 1101. Great, great movie, this one. This comes with the 4K and the Blu-ray. Great, great Adam Sandler performance in this about a diamond dealer in New York, and he deals jewelry to the wrong people and it takes him and he it, it, it takes him to the wrong side of the tracks and he ends up in hot water um but yeah really cool movie that one really really i really um that's a that, that's a good movie if you haven't seen it anyways the next one is uh another john waters film and this is on blu-ray and this is the uk version of the blu-ray and that is pink flamingos the film that was banned many many years ago came out in 1972 Number 1131, Pink Flamingos, about a hillbilly family living in a trailer, starring Devine, a John Waters film, this was his first film, sick, funny, well-made, beautiful movie, you'll laugh your ass off, just, yeah, pick it up if you haven't seen it, great, great movie, that one. Next one is the next 4K, and this was actually one of Criterion's first 4K releases, and that is... Menace to Society, the great film by the Hughes brothers, and they didn't really do many films, but this film is a standout film amongst their movies. Great, great film about life in LA, uh, specifically Compton, and life, um, and the life of two African American, uh, I guess you could call them young adults, but they're like teenagers, they're still in school. So yeah, um, and what they get up to, very similar to Boys in the Hood, looks fantastic on 4K, uh, this is number 1105, and this was released in 93. I would have been one when this came out, but yeah. Anyways, next one on the list is another 4K, and this is uh, the last film that Martin Scorsese directed, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, in, and that is The Irishman. Great, great movie about the true story of... Uh, Jimmy Hoffa and the Mafia and how he went missing and just surrounding the Union during those times and great great just well-told story super long movie though this is the 4k this came out in 2019 and this is number 1058 okay I guess he's on in order I guess this is the only one that's out of order but yeah comes with the blu-ray comes with the 4k can't go wrong Joe Pesci Robert De Niro Martin Scorsese and it even stars Artie Bucco's wife from The Sopranos in that. 
That's all you need. That is all you need. Anyways, next one on the list. Okay, this is a, this is, all right. Next one on the list is the 4K and the Blu-ray of Raging Bull. They both have the same covers and I had a raging problem when this was sent to me because I purchased the Blu-ray, sorry, the 4K. They sent me the Blu-ray, they let me keep it so I got the 4K. But anyways, Raging Bull, uh, great, great movie about the boxer, Jake LaMotta, in New York, black and white movie, very, very powerful and very, very just different kind of boxing movie. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. And this is, I'll tell you what number this is. This is 1134, and this came out in 1980. All right, down to the last two. Next one is an animated movie. Uh, and this is one of my favorite animated films of all time. And this is one of the only animated films that Criterion have released. And that is WALL-E, the 4K. Now, out of any Pixar Disney movie, this is up there with my top five favorite Pixar Disney movies of all time. Great, great movie. Great, great release. Three discs, Blu-ray, 4K, bonus disc. They tricked this out with, with beautiful artwork, 5.1 surround DTS, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, about a robot, last thing, uh, last thing that is alive on Earth. Anyways, last one on this list is the Golmiro del Toro Pinocchio, which won Best Animated Feature of that year. And this is Gamiro del Toro's take on the Pinocchio story. This is from 2022, the Criterion Collection, and this is 1,201. Great, great 4K, this one. Great, great release. Ugh, okay, I'm not going to take this out. But having said that, that's it for this video, everyone. I'm Mike Star. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with any questions you may have. Uh, just any questions in general or any questions on any of these releases that I own and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you have subscribed to this channel, thank you for supporting this channel. But if you haven't, you're missing out big time because I'm uploading here regularly. And you don't want to miss out on my next video where I'll be showcasing you all my entire horror collection. So stay tuned for that. This video is done and I'm out of here, everyone. So without further ado, I'll catch you all in the next video. But until then, have a night.